Hey everybody, welcome back. Now there's a lot of different programs you can use to build an organization chart, but since you spend a lot of time already in Office apps, it makes sense to use what you know, right? Today I'm going to step you through how to make an org chart in Office 365. We're going to use SmartArt, which is available in Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. So I'll show you the details on how to do this in Excel, but I want to show you where you can find it in each application. In Excel, all I need to do is go to the Insert tab and select this Smart Art option here. This will appear the same on all the other applications. Here it is in Word. Here it is in PowerPoint. And here it is in Outlook. So when you're ready to create it, click Smart Art, and this menu appears. It's important to note that you have all these other options here as Smart Art option, so keep that in mind. But for organization chart purposes, we're going to select Hierarchy, and from here we'll select our other options available. When you hover over, it lets you know how each chart's a little different. So this one's basic. This one you can insert pictures if you wanted to put the faces of certain people. Here you can do name and title. This has a table. I'm just going to go with a picture, a circle picture hierarchy. I'll select OK and we'll get going. So I'm going to choose a hierarchy that we're all familiar with. When you're ready to start putting in names in your org chart, you'll want to click the text pane up here where it makes it a lot easier to edit. So I'm going to do a hierarchy chart based off Snow White. Now once you start typing things in within the text pane, it's really easy to move around the chart by clicking around and seeing where the cursor goes. You can see the box is moving depending on where I click. So I'm going to try to get all the names in here and I will adjust the org chart as I go. While I'm putting out the names, if I want to promote anyone, they need to be moved to the level up, I'll just click this. And the same goes if I need to demote anyone. So under Snow Way, I know she has seven dwarves, so I need to create seven dwarves reporting to her. When you hit tab, it automatically knows that you need it to go under the specific person, like you would in a normal bullet list. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. Now I know the huntsman doesn't have anyone reporting to him, but and the queen is on the same level as them as well. I'll go ahead and delete these two bullets here so no one's reporting to the huntsman. I'll delete this extra bullet here. And then my org chart is complete. You'll see in the hierarchy chart that we chose to use, you have the option to actually insert a picture. So if you have a picture you want to insert, I'll go back to my text pane. I'll click photo here. I'll choose my file and it uploads it in the circle format. It looks clean and crisp. If at any point I want to go back and edit the chart that I used, the certain style, I have those options here like I did in the very beginning and I can actually preview what it looks like, which is pretty useful. You can change the colors and you can move these around too depending on what you want your sizing, how you want it to fit and look with everything. So like I said, this option um, within the Insert tab under Smart Art is ver very versatile and it's in available in a lot of different applications. It's available in Excel like we demonstrated here today, PowerPoint, Word, and Outlook. So it's easy to build basic organization charts or more complicated org charts as well. Hope you found this tip helpful and we'll see you next time.